Hello friends! Hope that APEC week was successful for you and now you're feeling hungry for news. So let's see, what is new in power semiconductors industry? EBV Electronic, an Avnet company, announced it is working closely with Infineon on the manufacturer's leading-edge silicon carbide-based CoolSeq technology, which delivers key benefits for engineers designing advanced power systems across a wide selection of market sectors and applications. Infineon and EBV will cooperate over the next year and beyond to accelerate the deployment of energy-efficient power devices with CoolSeq technologies. As part of this cooperation between two companies, available exclusively from Avnet and EBV, is an entry-level evaluation board from Infineon that is designed to provide engineers and developers with a simple way to quickly try out the possibilities of the advanced CoolSeq technology. Infineon displaced NXP from the number one spot as the leading supplier of automotive semiconductors. The annual assessment from Strategy Analytics is detailed in the Automotive Semiconductor Vendor 2020 Market Shares Report, which presents analysis of 2020 automotive sector revenues and market shares of the leading semiconductor vendors with revenues placed by major component product category and by region. Along with Renesas, Texas Instruments and ST Microelectronics, the top five vendors accounted for almost 49% of the global automotive semiconductor market in 2020. On the other end of the scale, the others category includes over 45 companies that account for around 16% of the 2020 automotive semiconductor market. The European Semiconductor Industry Association ESIA, has disclosed information about wafer fab capacities for semiconductor producing regions worldwide. In light of the extraordinary demand situation for semiconductors, ESIA is providing insight into trends relating to capacity for semiconductor producing regions around the globe. The percentages are derived from monthly wafer starts normalized to 200 mm wafer equivalents. Based on the data provided, it is clear that China and South Korea succeeded in keeping their wafer fab capacities growing compared to the United States and Japan. A 1.3 million US dollars research collaboration led by Griffith University and Queensland Semiconductor Technology, supported by Semifab Scotland and the Innovative Manufacturing CRC, is looking at the manufacture and performance of silicon carbide Schottky diodes, a key element in many power conversion systems. Using silicon carbide wafers, researchers at the Queensland Microtechnology Facility of Queensland Micro and Nanotechnology Center at Griffith University have developed a new technology that allows for more efficient and low-cost fabrication of silicon carbide diodes. As part of the research project, a pilot production facility will be set up at QMF to support the commercialization of the technology. Devices necessary for the initial commercial product supply will be manufactured there. Professor Sima Dimitriev, who leads the research team, says the development and pilot manufacture of silicon carbide-based diets at QMF is a great example of advanced manufacturing collaboration. Hitachi announced the establishment of Hitachi Center of Excellence in Portland, a new centralized facility for semiconductor engineering in Hillsborough, Oregon. Hitachi consolidates its semiconductor technology development facilities in the United States into this newly established facility. At this new location, the company will partner with its customers in the semiconductor industry to jointly create new Lumada solutions that lead to improved customer value by utilizing Hitachi's advanced digital technology. Hitachi's goal is to support its customers utilizing Hitachi's unique technology innovations, contribute to solving their technology challenges and partner on management-related challenges. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, see you next week. Meanwhile, go to Marketing Psych website for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.